Okay, once again we are looking at the Carla simulator and this is a test of version 913 running in Docker. So as you may know, the documentation still recommends running or building Carla in Ubuntu 18 and as we approach end of life there, we definitely have some options. Again, one of those options is to run the Carla server in Docker. So what we're looking at, once again, is Carla 19 running in Docker on top of Ubuntu 20. Okay, so to test this, let's add some weather. Okay, and first we'll add some uh, clear, we'll turn it on clear sunset. So that kind of gives us a nice visual effect. Then, to put some load on the system, going to spawn 100 vehicles and 100 walkers. I'm doing that now. And you can see now the vehicles have, and walkers have appeared. Actually, we have achieved um, 100 vehicles and 88 walkers. There's a limited number of spawning locations for the walkers, and sometimes they spawn on top of each other, and they don't all succeed. So we are now looking at the town with 100 cars and nearly 100 people walking around okay so this is not only a test of the new operating system and setup running in dockers it's also a test of my new hardware so this is running on my new uh, work machine for simulation which is a you know um, 11th generation i7 it's the K and an A4000 GPU. So I'm particularly excited to have this new setup to work with. And my first impressions are that it is performing very well. Um, this is only 1900 pixels across. And when I get the full 4K setup, which the A4000 definitely begs for, I will make an updated video. Okay, let's go down to the street level here and see what's going on see how things look a little closer so overall the cars look really good we are running in asynchronous mode so the speed of the walking you can see is a little you know faster than natural and that's just really just shows that the system is working well you know, my previous system, which was a you know similar performance machine, was not able to achieve this type of frame rate with this much load, meaning this much traffic. All right, while we watch here for a second, let's test some of the other weather. So what I'm going to do now is turn on um, some hard rain. Okay, and so seems to still be working well. One of the things to look for is to see if you can actually visualize the rain. We can actually see it here. You can definitely see the rain and the puddles on the ground. But the not sure that I can see the rain falling through the sky. So what we do is let's try a new view and a different rain setting. I'm going to try mid rain sunset. Okay, it looks pretty good, but definitely we have some kind of strange um, artifacts happening with the puddles. So I'm impressed with the way the puddles look, but it seems like stitching of the puddles together is not quite all there. Hopefully they'll get that figured out soon. Okay, now that we've looked around some, we're going to start a 
manual control and do uh, take a little drive around town. And so I'm going to take the rain off to make it a little, um, little easier to look at. So we'll go with clear sunset. And then we are going to spawn a manual control vehicle with manual control dot pi. Okay. So we got this cool blue charger. Now let's get something different. Yeah, let's take the cyber truck. Okay, now we've got our cyber truck ready. We are going to take an autopilot stroll around the town. You can see there I am at the bottom in the simulator and I just left the intersection. Now I bet we're going to be stuck in traffic. Okay, while we wait in traffic, I'll just say thanks for watching. I'll let this run for a few minutes to see how things go. And um, once again, I will post some updates soon.